Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth to take a look at some recent acquisitions. Up first, we've got the Funko Pop Vinyl uh, Voltron, aka Go Lion from uh, J uh, Japanese animation, anime, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't collect a lot of these. This is actually only the third one I own, uh, in addition to uh, Slimer from Ghostbusters and Sharknado. Um, while I do like Ghostbusters, I have never seen uh, more than a few minutes of Sharknado. I just thought it was an adorable uh, little cutesy collectible guy. Uh, and same thing here. Normally, I don't care for the Funko Pops. Uh, most of them, the eyeballs tend to look cold and dead and lifeless to me. That works for Sharknado. Uh, I think it works on a couple other characters, but for the most part, I don't think it works on the people characters. Uh, Voltron is not a people. He's uh, a giant robot made up of five robot lions, and each of these lions... Uh, is adorable in its own right. Uh, the giant black cat head here is absolutely adorable. His tiny little sword is adorable. His wings are adorable. Everything about this thing is adorable. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, yeah, I've seen some people complain about uh, Pop uh, Funko's uh, quality control on these things. There is, you know, the paint application on here isn't great. There's some overspray and the detail and whatever, and there's things you could nitpick about it. And I thought all of these things were bobbleheads, but I don't know. This isn't. This one's pretty fixed. I, th I prefer it this way. I just I thought they were all bobbleheads. Um, they can do better, sure, but uh, for, you know, ten bucks, uh, this is not a bad deal for a little collectible. I've also seen a lot of people complain that uh, there's not a lot of resale value in these. These are the new Beanie Babies. We're all going to be choking on them in ten years. Uh, I disagree. Beanie Babies never had uh, licensing behind them. They never had all the different properties. And sure, some lines are going to die, like Duck Dynasty, uh, but uh, Star Wars is forever. He-Man, G.I. Joe, no, that stuff never goes out of style, obviously. Um, and uh, I don't think something like this... Uh, is going to end up in the same pile as uh, Beanie Babies and stuff like that. He's too cute. And he's uh, next up, we've got uh, a couple of Marvel Universe figures. Uh, these aren't terribly new, um, but uh, they are three perfect examples of uh, why I'm not really a Marvel Universe collector. Deathlock I always thought was cool. Uh, he was one of the first, for, for some reason, I, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you why, he was one of the first characters that uh, Toy Biz uh, made way back in the 90s. Uh, and I always liked that figure. He had the brain... Pouch. You know, I wish I'd have grabbed that figure. I didn't do my show prep. But uh, he had the sort of brain pouch you could pop up and see his robot head and everything. It really just emphasized the fact that he was a cyborg guy. And I, and I like this figure as sort of a modern update to that Toy Biz figure. Um, unfortunately, at this scale, with the materials that they use, uh, these figures are just over-articulated. Uh, I mean, this is articulation that should be on a 6-inch figure, not on a, uh, what are these, 3 and 3 quarter inch-ish, 4-inch figures. Um, you know, I like the removable gun and whatever, but, you know, look at look at this leg. I mean, that's how it came out of the package, and I, I could fix it, but, you know, I'm just getting tired of having to fix my figures when I buy them. Like, just, just a little bit of quality control here, a little bit, like, let's work on the packaging, let's work on how it fits in the box instead of me having to fix everything. You know, getting this guy to stand... Well, apparently, get, getting this guy to stand is apparently pretty easily, but, uh, I don't know. They're just, I, there's not much I can do with this figure, and most of my collection has gone six inches anyway, so... I don't, I don't collect these regularly, and uh, but yeah, you know, a couple of interesting characters I couldn't pass up. Death's Head. Uh, Death's Head is, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, weird, strange, unusual. Uh, I don't know much about him. I didn't read the Transformers comics that he was a part of. Uh, as far as I know, I think... I think he started outside of Marvel Comics and somehow ended up in those Transformers books. I don't know for sure. I'd have to do a quick uh, Wikipedia of it to know for sure. But uh, as far as an action figure translation of the character, this is great. This is pretty accurate. I mean, I, I assume this is the Colossus body that they... Oop, the shield came off. That they started with. Uh, just added the new head and some weapons and the, the boot-legging things here. Uh, but uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty accurate as far as I remember. Um, and uh, I still... And I'm going to say the same thing about Ares here and Deathlock. Oh, just, let's, you made him in three and three quarter. Can't we just upscale him to six inch and get these guys in six inch? I mean, if you thought he was going to sell as a three and three quarter inch figure, why don't you think he's going to sell as a uh, six inch? It's, seems like a strange thing to me. And Ares, I've had Ares before. I picked him up when he first came out, but uh, I sold him to a friend of mine uh, who wanted him a little bit more than me at the time. Um, and really, the only reason I, I even picked this figure up is because I, uh, I was not able to get the Build-A-Figure which I don't know. Last check was running like 250, 300 bucks uh, for the whole thing. I have some of the pieces still working on. Uh, I, I I think I'm less than 50 percent. I think I have head, helmet, weapons, one arm, one leg, and maybe the, the part of the torso or something. So I'm still I'm still at least like 200 bucks away from completing that thing. So for now, I'll have to uh, hold on to this three and three quarter inch version, which is not bad. And again, if we could just upscale this to six, 
we'd be done. In the back here, we've got a uh, brand new multiverse flash. Um, this was, uh, I don't think this is standard. I don't think they come like this uh, out of the case. This is just how mine looked. Um, I grabbed this figure because uh, I did not get the DC Collectibles TV show Flash. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, yeah. uh, but, uh, but you know, hey, I've, I've been kind of, sort of, watching the Flash TV show. Uh, Fast-forwarding to the action parts, basically. Um, and I wanted a, uh, I wanted a TV movie-style Flash to go with my uh, TV movie <clears throat> Avengers. Uh, Avengers Justice League. You got your Bale Batman, you got your Cavill Superman, um, and you know, he fits right in there. Even though I know, going forward, uh, there's going to be some other guy playing the Flash with some other suit in the movies and whatever. We'll see that in, I guess, I don't know, two, three years, something like that, when the next movie comes out. And hey, look, I even have my Ryan, Ren <coughs> Excuse me, I even have my Ryan Reynolds flat, uh, Green Lantern here, uh, who uh, I think he cost me a buck. I got him on super duper clearance, and uh, he's not a very good figure, and his head uh, pops off really easily. But uh, closest thing we have to a movie Flash right now. Uh, why do I keep calling him Flash? Movie Green Lantern right now. So we're four members deep on uh, TV movie uh, JLA, which puts them way behind the Avengers. But that's nothing new. Over here we've got uh, DC Collectibles, DC Icons, The Flash. Um, this, uh, we've got the review for the Batman figure up already. Uh, liked it, didn't love the Batman. And uh, I was hoping for some... I was hoping to like this line more as we went along. But I have to say that I think this is it for me. Um, I was very disappointed with the Flash. Uh, not so much in the way it looks or the scale or the, the common complaints. Look at this, I haven't even taken it out of the package. Um, and, you know, he's got extra hands, which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, and this is gonna... Unfortunately... Uh, he was very tight taking him out of the box, you know? Same old problem. Paint sticking. Um, I didn't think I was going to have to fix any joints or anything, but uh, his head, uh, his neck was very, very tight, and uh, upon trying to turn his head, uh, my finger slipped. Barely any pressure. Popped his the little, uh, his little uh, mercury wing right off his head. Uh, I mean, it just it tore off like it was made out of paper. And uh, at that point, after having spent what I spent on it, uh, I think he was like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. I think it was closer to 25, 22, 25, somewhere around there. Uh, I said, you know what? That's it for me. I'm out on the Icons line. Uh, I thought at the very least I was just going to grab the Justice League. But uh, after, uh, after that, uh, and having DC Collectibles basically tell me, uh, go to your shop and uh, return and exchange it there, see if they'll do it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that to my little comic book store. Uh, that's No, the, the big guy should have to absorb that. You're the one who made... Uh, you're the one who made it, you know. So, uh, I'm uh, I'm out on DC icons. Don't uh, don't expect to see us doing any more reviews on uh, those figures. Um, pretty disappointed with that. Uh, lastly, we've got the Diamond Select Ghostbusters here. Um, I left uh, Lewis Tully here in uh, in the box. I don't think that's a great. I don't know if you can see his face there. It's not a great face on him. Um, not even really sure why he's in the first wave. Uh, and these are the first versions of these. Uh, the direct, uh, the exclusive versions are going to have the build a diorama pieces. These are just the regular ones. But they're super cheap. I mean, they were 12 bucks a piece. I don't know what you can get them for online right now, but, you know, if you just want decent Ghostbusters figures, uh, I don't know how you can say no to these. Uh, Winston, of course, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, at Toy Galaxy, then you know that uh, I was pretty impressed with these figures overall. The sculpts are pretty fantastic. They look great. They look like the actors. Um, you know, it, when you compare them to the Mattel releases, I mean, first of all, they, you know, scale-wise, it's not even close. Uh, I don't know which one works better for you. These aren't too far apart. The Diamond Select aren't too far apart from the NECA scale, so that's not too bad. Uh, and then here, uh, you have, uh, the Mattel one's a little smaller, um, so you get more detail on this side. Um, I prefer the, the bigger figure, but, you know, these things, these little wires and hoses and stuff, that's, I don't, I don't love it. The packs, you can't get them off. Uh, because they do have this strap across the middle here. 
Um, and I thought this was, I think this is bendy wire is what this is. So that's going to crack over time. It looks good now, but it's going to crack. Um, there's some things you might have to fix. His little wand is uh, bent there. Uh, and there is a tiny little hook where you can hook it on, but it doesn't stay too well. My biggest complaint, look, they came with a bunch of crap. You got uh, these. I don't really care about this kind of stuff, but you've got uh, all kinds of uh, additional handsets. I think there were four, three or four full handsets, two gloved, two ungloved. Uh, but when uh, when I went to switch them out, of course, the peg uh, for his ungloved hand uh, just cracked right, just, just ripped right off. And that's uh, pretty disappointing. Again, not a very expensive figure, but still, you know, I would like it to, to survive for more than one hand change. And I don't want to have to do 10 minutes of running this thing under the hot water. Uh, every time I want to switch his hand around or something. So pretty disappointing for that to happen. I don't know if that's a widespread problem, problem, excuse me, uh, but uh, it happened to me. So I figured I would just pass that on. Um, I've also got Ray here. Uh, he was also in the first batch. Uh, same, same things. Looks great. You know, they've got a couple of uh, accessories that they come with. He's got a walkie talkie here. Uh, there is also a trap. One of them came with a trap. Uh, and I think Winston came with the trap and then Ray's got the, uh, the night vision goggles here. Which uh, I just displayed on his head. Uh, it would have been nice if he came with an alternate head and had a cigarette in his mouth or something. But uh, really nice figures. Uh, I do recommend them. Of course, it's up to you as to whether or not you want to wait around and get the build a diorama pieces. Uh, but they are pretty nice for the price. Just be careful when you take them out of the package uh, so you don't rip their hands off or anything like that. Thanks for watching. If you like seeing my re recent acquisitions, make sure you give this video a like. A like. Give it a like. Think of it as paying for the video, except it didn't cost you anything. Be sure to subscribe and tell your friends later.